Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a cool teleportation effect in Adobe After Effects without any plugins. So let's get started. First of all let's see how it was shot. I filmed my scenes handheld to make it more dynamic. But you can make it a bit easier for yourself if you put a camera on a tripod since you can simply cut between the running shot and a clean plate. As you can see in my shot the camera stops panning right in this moment because I want to make the person disappear there. This way it won't be hard to hide the cut. I just kept the camera in this position and recorded a clean plate. Then I did pretty much the same for the second scene. First I pretended to appear in the room, walked off screen and recorded a clean plate. With these shots recorded we can start editing. Before that I want to briefly talk about Envato Elements. It's an amazing tool for all creators offering a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's open up After Effects and take a look at the first scene. I place the shot on the timeline. First go to the point where you want the teleportation to happen and split the layer. Then move the video forward so that the person is out of the frame. And trim the layer. If you shot this with a tripod the transition should be pretty seamless. I have a handheld shot so I can use some 3D tracking and masking to make the transition smoother. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Basically we want to take a part from the clean plate and track it onto the shot where the person is running. Therefore you have to make sure that the camera in the clean plate is not moving. In my case there is a slight movement which can be easily fixed by stabilizing the shot. Just select the clean plate layer, hit stabilize motion and enable rotation as well. Choose some points with good contrast and track the shot. Then click apply and pre-compose the shot moving all attributes into a new comb. Now back to the main shot. Extend it and split it at the point of the transition. Next choose track camera. Select some track points and create a solid end camera. Now we want to have our clean plate there instead of the solid. So make the clean plate layer 3D, reduce the opacity and try to match the clean plate with the main shot. Next pick the pen tool and create a mask around the area where the person is running. Then feather it out. This looks kinda cool already. Before we can add any teleport effects we need to rotoscope a few frames with the body. Duplicate the main shot, move it above the clean plate and select the roto brush tool. Create a selection of the body and freeze it. You can also tweak a few settings. Now we can add some distortion at the moment of teleportation. Create an adjustment layer and move it above the other layers. Add the CC flow motion effect to it. Here you can reposition these points and animate the amount to create an illusion of the person being sucked into a portal. Also easy is the keyframes for a smooth animation. Additionally, I use the bulge effect with animated height to add an extra layer of distortion. To get rid of these edges, I selected the main shot and used the CC Repetile effect set to Unfold. 
If you don't want the person to be affected by the distortion, you can move the roto layer above that adjustment layer. Next, to make the body gradually disappear, we can draw some masks for individual body parts and animate them. Set the mask blending mode to subtract. Now we have this. Furthermore, we want to add some glow. For this, duplicate the roto layer and search for the Vegas effect. Play around with the settings to get something you like. Then blur it out a bit with a fast blur effect and finish it up with a glow effect. To get a better result, use more duplications of the glow. Finally, you can change the color in the Vegas effect and set the layer blending mode to add. Next, animate the opacity to go from 0 to 100 and then back to 0%. You can move the distortion layer above all of the other layers. To get even more glow and light for the teleport, I created a new solid layer and made a feathered mask. I changed the blending mode to add and reduced the opacity. In the final shot you can see that the portal has sort of a structure. I achieved this with a fractal noise effect. I adjusted a few settings and chose lighten as the blending mode. Additionally I added a vector blur effect. To get some movement for this portal, hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon for evolution. Now type in time times, let's say 300. I also used the curves effect to increase the contrast and topped it off with the tint effect to change the color. Then again animate the opacity. Finally, I decided to add even more light with a solid layer and color graded the shot. I topped it off with this small light, which I created with the CC light trace effect. Then I pre composed everything and animated the position for a couple of frames to get a camera shake when the teleportation happens. Of course I enabled the motion blur. And that's it for this scene. In the second scene, I first made myself appear in the room and used the same distortion effects as before. Then I masked out the body with a roto brush tool and made masks around the body parts to make them gradually appear. Next I duplicated the roto layer and use the Vegas effect with glow to create the glowing lines. Finally I added some extra light and portal effects. And we are done. If you found this helpful please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.